Namaste, namaste. How's it going? Hatha yoga is a lifelong discipline. And having practiced it myself for many years and still cultivating it in my life, I could attest to its power when it comes to developing the body all the way to the higher observances of meditation. But it's not for everyone. It's quite complex, and it requires a certain nature as well as a certain situation. You know? And the support around this, this is uh, very important that amidst the requirement and you know, the expectations of our modern existence, yeah, Hatha Yoga is quite difficult to sustain. And then who has the time, really? So I could summarize Hatha Yoga and then adapt it to the contemporary way of living to five major disciplines you know, or steps. Yeah? Number one, exercise, make your body strong. And then yoga asanas, yoga classes, three times per week, or you can do home practice as well. And you can supplement that with your favorite sport, weight training, I love weight training, swimming, you know, dancing. If you love cycle and do your morning jogs or run, yeah, those can supplement developing the body. And after that, cultivate the breath, pranayama, you know, breathing exercises. And if there's one technique I really recommend you to grow, it's sustainable, it's um, adaptive as well as safe is the Nadi Shodana, or the alternate nostril breathing. And I've given a number of tutorials about that, guided lessons as well. 10 minutes in the morning, if you have the time, another 10 minutes before your bed uh, rest. Yeah. Third, meditate, and this includes relaxation. All right, meditation is important, not just for the health of our brain, but when we meditate, when we hold the body steady, the brain decompresses really. And the cerebrospinal fluid brimming with the life force you cultivated from your asana and your pranayama yeah, flows down through the rest of your physical anatomy, giving life and rejuvenation to your system. Slows the heart rate, slows the breathing, it's good for the health. All right, and then number four, and this is um, off the mat, yeah, moderation. Moderation, could, I could branch it into like two you know, categories. Number one, diet. I'm not recommending a particular dietary plan, but if you can, limit your consumption of oily you know, meat products and source your diet from fish, veggies, fruit, grains, uh, easy to digest one, uh, dairy, yeah, as well as more important actually than your food is the consumption of alcohol. Yeah, if you can stop alcoholic drink social drinking, well, once in a while, and smoking. No smoking, really. Sm smoking is really bad for your health. All right, another branch of moderation is the control of your sexual activity. In Hatha Yoga, the sexual energy is important. It's very important once we're able to level our hormone production. This leads to feedback inhibition, and then we go to this achieve a base level of um, a reproductive energy, and this leads to you know, the trans uh, transmuting of our sexual force to subtle entities like nada and vibration. We use this for our meditation. Yeah, but I'm not telling you to stop. Yeah, just don't preoccupy your mind with the sexual thoughts. Yeah, and number five, sleep. Sleep is important. Every night we clear and open our brain, leading to the purification, the cleansing of your whole energetic circuitry. Important that we get you know, ample sleep, seven or nine hours every day. All right, the five ones. Exercise, cultivate the breath, meditate and relax, moderation of your diet and sexual activity, as well as sleep. And now we'll add another one, you know, which is make sure you see your medical advisor regularly. Cholesterol, okay. No hypertension, blood works okay. Yeah, heart okay. If we are healthy, yeah, we're more at peace, and we can allot more time for things that are dear to us. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next session. Namaste.